Pets Mate Igloo Dog Houses. That's what we're going to be taking a look at today here on Doing Stuff with Dave. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. And you know what? Why don't we just cut right to it? So this is the Igloo Dog House by Pets Mate. And I have to say, guys, I am really liking these things. They are tough, strong construction, put together really, really well. I spent a lot of time doing price comparison online, shopping around, trying to find the best pricing, and I ended up going to hayneedle.com. to say they really did have the best pricing, and they shipped it right to my house. What more could I ask for? So I'm gonna leave a link below if you wanna check out Hay Needle, and please do check them out. Um, these things are put together, they, they come in two pieces, and I have to say they're about 50 pounds a piece and they have this latching mechanism right down here and I have to say once you have them together they are really hard to take apart so just just be warned about that they sell a mattress a custom mattress for these stock houses but they're pretty pricey about a hundred something dollars a piece so I just use this memory foam mattress top that I wasn't I wasn't gonna be using anymore so that saved me a little bit of money Put some double-sided radiant barrier in the bottom, and that just kind of helps keep out the cold and hold the heat in. And that's kind of a, a winter time thing. In the summer, I'll probably take that out. But uh, but yeah, I have to say, um, you can save some money by just kind of you know using something else for the bedding on the inside because I mean, come on, a hundred thirty dollars a piece for the doghouse, and then the mattresses are almost the same price as the, as the doghouse. So I was just like, now nah, I, I can I can do my own thing and save a little money. But that being said, uh, they have these awesome vents at the top, and they also sell you, they can sell you heaters that slide into there and, and plug in if you want to do that. Um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and use my outlet here and drill a hole down in the bottom where the venting is. They have a lot of venting holes, which is really great for the summertime. In wintertime, I'm going to probably run a heater pad underneath the mattress and just plug it in. I think that'll keep them nice and warm. Probably keep it on low. Um, don't want them to get too hot. Like I said, these things are made of structural foam, so not only are they really, really strong, but that structural foam really helps insulate. One, one quick thing I wanted to point out is I cracked one of these babies right here when I was trying to take it apart. And that's how, that's how hard these things stick together once, once they're locked in. Um, so just kind of be careful of that. Don't don't try to pry it or, or force it too hard because you can do some damage to them. Um, there, it's it's a pretty a pretty thick material here. I want to say like well, if you look at this beveled edge right here, which actually slides down into this groove on the base, um, it already locks in pretty tight even without the clips. So it is it is some pretty tough stuff to to kind of handle. And this edge right here doesn't really give you a good idea of how thick they are. They're, they're about a quarter inch thick. No, no, I, I, I can tell you right now, they are absolutely a quarter inch thick. There you go. That's that's kind of about the the overall thickness of them. And, and you might think like a quarter inch isn't really a lot, but the type of material that this stuff is made out of, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is a lot and it's really, really tough. So I have, I have no complaints so far. The damage that I did to one of the clips, um, that was my own fault for, for trying to pry on it too hard. Um, so yeah, that's just one one little thing that I want to throw out there is that once these things go together, um, it's it's a nightmare to get them back apart again. So they have a lot of venting on them, which which is great for summertime use. Um, in the wintertime, you can kind of cover up the venting and help keep them a little bit warmer. I, I wouldn't cover up all of the venting. I actually bought the doggy doors that come with these things. They're just like kind of like your floppy plastic doggy doors. I left them off right now because I want my dogs to get familiar with the dog houses before there's a door on them. And uh, and that way they'll they'll warm up to the idea and know that it's their little home. My wife and I are big dog lovers and when we have to take off for a weekend or a couple days here and there, we want to know that our dogs are nice and warm outside. And most of the time they're in the house with us, but sometimes that's not possible. So they got to have a place to go outside where they can stay warm. That's really important. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and please, please do subscribe. 
it means a lot to us when you subscribe. It, it actually hurts us little channels when you guys don't subscribe. And I want to say thank you for joining me here on Doing Stuff with Dave. And I will, from time to time, be doing more videos on things I do for my animals. Well, you all have a beautiful day. Pets mate, igloo dog houses. That's what we're gonna be taking a look at today here on Doing Stuff with Dave. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. And you know what? Why don't we just cut right to it? So this is the igloo dog house by Pets Mate. And I have to say, guys, I am really liking these things. They are tough, strong construction.